Have you ever seen a helicopter hovering in the sky, like a giant dragonfly? It's an incredible sight, these machines seem to defy gravity floating effortlessly above the ground. Whether you spot them gliding over a bustling city or soaring above a quiet countryside, helicopters always capture our imagination. Unlike airplanes, helicopters don't need runways. They can take off straight up and land almost anywhere. From the top of skyscrapers to the middle of forests or even on ships at sea, helicopters can reach places that most other vehicles simply can't. They're the acrobats of the sky able to fly forward, backward, sideways, or just hover in place. This unique agility makes helicopters perfect for tricky missions and daring rescues where every move counts. But how do they do it? Today, we'll uncover the science and technology that lets helicopters dance in the air. We'll see what makes them so different from airplanes and why they're so special. We'll explore the spinning main rotor, the crucial tail rotor, and the powerful engine inside. Each part plays a vital role in keeping the helicopter balanced, stable, and ready for action. Think of it as taking apart a flying toy to see how all the pieces work together. By understanding each component, you'll see how teamwork and engineering makes flight possible. Buckle up, our journey into helicopter tech is about to take off. Imagine sitting in the cockpit feeling the vibrations as the rotors spin faster and faster. Here's the secret. While airplanes get lift by moving fast, helicopters create their own wind with spinning blades. This means they can rise straight up, even from a standstill. Those blades push air down, and thanks to Newton's third law, the air pushes the helicopter up. It's a perfect example of science in action, right before your eyes. Helicopters aren't just cool, they're lifesavers and explorers, rescuing people, building skyscrapers and giving us breathtaking tours. They help in emergencies, construction and even adventure travel. By the end you'll know how every part works and how pilots make helicopters dance in the sky. You'll see how skill, technology and a bit of daring come together in every flight. Ready to become a helicopter expert? Get set to discover the secrets behind these amazing flying machines, let's jump in and explore the secrets of these amazing sky dancers. Your ticket to the sky awaits. Every superhero needs power, and for helicopters, that's the engine. Most use a gas turbine engine, think of it as a jet engine that spins a shaft instead of blasting air. The engine sucks in air, mixes it with fuel, ignites it, and spins a turbine. But the engine spins too fast for the blades, so a transmission slows it down to the perfect speed. The transmission is like a gearbox, making sure the main rotor blades spin safely and powerfully. Power also travels down a drive shaft to the tail rotor which keeps the helicopter stable. The engine and transmission are a powerhouse duo. One creates energy, the other delivers it where it's needed. Without them, the rotors wouldn't spin and the helicopter couldn't fly. Next time you see a helicopter, remember the teamwork inside. It's the muscle behind the magic. That's what gets helicopters off the ground and into the sky. The main rotor, the giant spinning blades on top, is what gives a helicopter its lift. The blades are shaped like airplane wings called airfoils, with a curved top and flatter bottom. As they spin, air moves faster over the top, creating lower pressure and lifting the helicopter. The blades connect to a central hub, which lets them flap and move for stability. The hub sits atop the mast, which connects to the transmission. When the mast spins, so do the hub and blades. The real magic. The pilot can change the angle or pitch of the blades as they spin. By adjusting pitch the helicopter can hover, climb or descend. The main rotor isn't just a propeller, it's a dynamic system of parts working together. The mast provides power, the hub allows movement, and the blades generate lift. Every part must work in harmony for smooth controlled flight. That's how helicopters perform their sky-high ballet. Changing the pitch of spinning rotor blades is tricky. Enter the swash plate, the helicopter's secret weapon. The swash plate has two parts, a stationary plate and a spinning plate, both around the main rotor mast. The pilot's controls tilt the stationary plate, which tilts the spinning plate along with it. Pitch links connect the spinning plate to each blade, changing their angle as they rotate. Want to fly forward? The pilot tilts the swash plate forward, so the blades generate more lift at the back and less at the front, tilting the whole rotor disc. It's like tilting a spinning fan to direct the breeze. The swash plate translates simple hand movements into complex blade adjustments. Without it, pilots couldn't steer or control the helicopter's direction. It's the mechanical brain behind every maneuver. 
Next time you see a helicopter hover or swoop, thank the swashplate. It's a marvel of engineering that makes helicopter flight possible. That's the secret to their agility in the sky. So, how does a pilot control all this? Flying a helicopter might look effortless from the outside, but inside the cockpit, it's a world of constant adjustments and precise coordination. Every movement the pilot makes has a direct impact on the aircraft's behavior. Inside the cockpit are three main controls, each with a unique and vital role in flight. These controls work together to give the pilot complete command over the helicopter's movement. The collective, a lever on the left, raises or lowers the swash plate, changing the pitch of all blades equally for climbing or descending. By pulling up or pushing down on the collective, the pilot can make the helicopter rise smoothly into the air or gently settle back down. Small, smooth adjustments keep the helicopter hovering at just the right height. Even the slightest movement can make a big difference, so pilots must be incredibly precise. The cyclic, a joystick between the knees, tilts the swashplate in any direction, steering the helicopter forward, backward, or sideways. This control lets the pilot maneuver with agility, weaving through the air or making sharp turns. The cyclic changes blade pitch one at a time as they spin, letting the pilot move in any direction. It's this unique feature that gives helicopters their incredible versatility compared to airplanes. Finally, the anti-torque pedals control the tail rotor. These pedals are operated with the pilot's feet, adding another layer of coordination. As the main rotor spins it tries to spin the helicopter's body the other way, torque. Without the tail rotor, the helicopter would uncontrollably spin in circles. The pedals adjust the tail rotor's thrust, keeping the nose straight, or turning the helicopter on the spot. This allows for precise control during takeoff, landing, and hovering. With these three controls, pilots can make helicopters climb, hover, spin, and fly in any direction. The combination of collective, cyclic, and pedals gives them unmatched freedom in the sky. It's a delicate dance of hands and feet, requiring constant attention and split-second decisions. Pilots must anticipate how the helicopter will respond to every input. Mastering these controls is what makes helicopter flight possible. It takes hours of training and practice to develop the muscle memory and intuition needed to fly safely. That's how pilots make these machines do incredible things, from daring rescues to breathtaking stunts and everyday flights. Ready to see how it all comes together in flight? Let's watch these amazing machines in action and see the skills of helicopter pilots up close. Flying a helicopter is like juggling except you're in the air and every movement counts. Pilots must use all three main controls at once, the collective, the cyclic, and the pedals, each with a unique role. To take off, the pilot pulls up on the collective, increasing the pitch of the rotor blades to generate lift and make the helicopter rise smoothly. At the same time, the pilot uses the pedals to counteract the torque and keep the nose pointed straight ahead. Once hovering, a gentle push on the cyclic tilts the rotor disc, moving the helicopter forward or in any direction the pilot chooses. As the helicopter moves, the pilot lowers the collective slightly to prevent climbing too quickly and to maintain a steady altitude. The pedals are constantly adjusted for balance, keeping the helicopter stable and coordinated. Every maneuver is a careful blend of collective, cyclic, and pedal adjustments, requiring constant attention and coordination. Want to turn while hovering? The pedals spin the nose left or right, allowing the helicopter to rotate in place. In forward flight, the cyclic banks the helicopter for turns, while the pedals keep the turn coordinated and smooth. It's a graceful, controlled motion that looks effortless, but demands skill and practice. Modern helicopters often have advanced autopilot systems to help hold altitude, maintain speed, or keep a steady heading, which reduces pilot workload and increases safety. Some advanced autopilots can even hover automatically, holding the helicopter steady in place without pilot input. But autopilot doesn't replace the pilot. It simply assists, acting as a smart co-pilot for safer, easier flight. The pilot still supervises and can take over at any moment, ensuring full control when needed. Technology helps manage the constant balancing act, making complex maneuvers more precise and reliable. That's how skilled pilots master the art of helicopter flight, blending human expertise with modern technology. Now let's see what helicopters can do in the real world, where these skills truly shine. Helicopters are real-world superheroes, not just sightseeing machines. Their ability to take off, land vertically and hover makes them perfect for rescue missions. 
They save lost hikers, rescue people from floods, and serve as flying ambulances. Medical helicopters rush patients to hospitals faster than ground ambulances, often saving lives. The military uses helicopters for transport, attack, and scouting, delivering troops, equipment, and vital information. In civilian life, helicopters lift heavy loads to skyscrapers, fight wildfires, report on traffic, and support offshore oil rigs. They're used in farming, logging, filmmaking, and tourism. Helicopters are the ultimate multi-tool of the sky. Their technology makes them invaluable helpers in emergencies and everyday life. Wherever there's a tough job in a hard-to-reach place, you'll find a helicopter. That's why they're true heroes of the air. The helicopter story is just beginning. New technology is making them faster, quieter, and greener. Modern helicopters use lightweight composite materials like carbon fiber, making them more efficient. Engineers are designing quieter rotor blades to reduce the famous wop-wop noise. Advanced rotors can change shape or speed for better performance. Electric and hybrid helicopters are on the horizon, promising quieter, cleaner flight. Batteries are improving, and hybrid engines could soon power helicopters with less fuel and noise. Autonomous flight systems are advancing too. Future helicopters might fly themselves, delivering packages, inspecting power lines, or rescuing people without a pilot. The next generation will combine lightweight materials, quiet rotors, electric power, and smart technology. The future of vertical flight is bright and full of possibilities. Get ready for helicopters straight out of science fiction. What a journey. We've explored engines, rotors, swash plates, and the science behind helicopter flight. Helicopters show how science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM, create real-world magic. With curiosity and clever thinking, we solve big problems and invent amazing machines. Every device around you has a story. Keep asking how things work. Maybe you'll invent the next big breakthrough. The next time you see a helicopter, you'll know its secrets. Stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, the sky is just the beginning. Your adventure in science is only getting started.